let's say we have class A and uh, it is a prerequisite for class B and um, we have class A being also a prerequisite for class C and both B and C are prerequisites for class D and now we also have class E that uh, turns out to be a prerequisite for class B okay so that means that um, clearly we have to first take class A uh, following that uh, first we take class A uh, then following that we can take class B um, or C or E but actually we can take B because we first have to take E so the problem is um, um, suppose there is one course per quarter uh, find a satisfying order okay so that's um, that's our, our problem we want to basically um, put the all of these classes all of these letters a b c d e in an order such that um, the prerequisites of uh, each class will be taken before that class is taken. In general, uh, this problem is called um, topological ordering, and um, we're going to uh, discuss two uh, algorithms for solving this problem. Okay, so as a first step, um, let's consider um, this. Um, graph of dependencies um, and see if we can uh, put it um, in or topological ordering just using common sense arguments okay so um, um, let's see so we what we want to do uh, in the beginning is we want to find a class or a node that has no prerequisites so a node has no prerequisites if it has no edges uh, going in so if we look at a a has this edge pointing in. So it can't be taken first. B can't be taken first. C can't be taken first. D cannot be taken first. E uh, can be taken first. So it has, because it has no edges going in, and F cannot be taken first. So the only possibility for us for the first class is E. So we're going to mark here E, and we're just going to write down here E is the first in our order. Okay, now that we have E out of the way, um, what other, what are the classes now, what are the nodes now that don't have an ingoing edge? Okay, so um, the, the fact that uh, E has been taken out, that means that also we've taken out this edge. So, um, in fact, now um, A has uh, no prerequisite, so we can do that. Um, C... B still has a prerequisite. Uh, C has one less prerequisite, but still it has a prerequisite D. And uh, F uh, has um, uh, no prerequisites. Okay, so we're going to um, choose either A or F. Let's say that we choose A. Okay. So um, we have um, we have uh, the that the A is the second one, and now after we remove A, which uh, new things become available? Um, now D is available and F is available. Well, let's first just get rid of F because it's just hanging there. So um, we'll just remove F and put it here. And now um, we can do uh, D because no prerequisites for D after A is gone. So um, we're going to cut out D. And now that we have A, D, E, and F, uh, B and C have no prerequisites, so we can put them in any order. B, C. Okay, so uh, this is uh, basically how we can find a topological order. But uh, we want to make this into a systematic algorithm that we can have the computer do. So how do we do that? Okay, 
So to do that, to define an algorithm, the first thing we need to do is uh, define a data structure that will hold the information uh, for us. Okay, uh, the, the information that is in the graph. Okay, so here we're going to use a contingency table, and that's basically a matrix that has um, the columns and the rows labeled by the nodes in the graph. And um, for each entry in the graph, we have uh, one if there is a dependence, if, um, if uh, the, the from node if the from node is um, is uh, a prerequisite to the to node okay so what do we have let's say a a is a prerequisite for d so we will have um, one one here okay b is not a prerequisite for anything c is not a prerequisite for anything uh, d is a prerequisite for b and c so d is a prerequisite for b and c and um, E is a prerequisite for C and A and F. So E is a prerequisite from, for A and C and F. And um, finally, F is not a prerequisite for anything. Okay, so uh, the other places, uh, we just basically have zeros. Okay, when we don't, when there is no edge going between between the nodes. So, okay, now um, that we have our um, contingency matrix, um, how do we define the algorithm? Well, the algorithm is simple. It uh, just says uh, at each step, after you removed um, some nodes, just look for a node that uh, has no prerequisites. Okay, so we start. Uh, by looking for a node that has no prerequisite. Uh, what does that look like? It simply looks like a column that hasn't got a 1 in it. This A column has got a 1 in it, and why is that? Because there is an, an edge from E going to A. Okay? So A cannot be the first item. Similarly, there is a 1 in this column, there is a 1 in this column, there is a 1 in this column, and there is a 1 in this column, but in the E column, there is no one. So E is the only possibility for us. Um, in general, we'll just go with the first uh, with the first one. So what do we do now? We basically just write E as our first uh, element. Uh, we can remember that we erase E here. And here we erase the column that corresponds to E and the row that corresponds to E. Okay, so now let's look for another for the next one that is possible. Um, let's see. Uh, a. A now can be can be the next one. Okay, so we'll just take A. Uh, we can check further and find other ones, but we don't have to. So we're just going to stick with A. So um, I'm going to write A here, and then I'm going to erase this A, and then I'm going to erase the column A and the row A. Okay, so now we want to find another, the next one that is possible. So let's see, B still has a 1, C still has a 1, D has no 1. Okay, so we can use D. So we basically now erase D, and we, we mark D here, and we delete D here and here. Okay, now that we have uh, that, um, we're going to look for the next one. Uh, now we can, we can do B, so we'll just add B. Let's see. B, and uh, erase B here, erase B here. And basically now we have C and F that are both possible, so we just have C, we erase C here, and we erase C here, and the only thing that remains is this zero here, which is F. Okay? So this is basically how we do the algorithm.